Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Friends, in this video we will be talking about the FIRES API. If you are very ambitious about designing your own algorithmic trading platform or your own algorithm based trading or if you are trying to connect to any third party application providing you an algorithmic support, in that case you will need the support of API. If you have an account in FIRES, you can get this API absolutely free of cost. Now if you wish to connect to any of the third party applications or if you want to design your own algorithmic application in that case you will need an access to fires api so stay tuned in this particular video till the end to understand what fires api is what all features does it provide and how we can connect to fires account and how we can get access free access to this api so friends fires provide you completely free of cost api for your algorithmic trading or programmatic trading purposes and within the fires api you get special features like trading APIs, historical data APIs and the real time data APIs. So that means you can use the FIRES API to place orders to get the orders positions trade book to cancel and modify the orders and to fetch the history of orders and your profile. Historical data API provides you the facility to get the historical data of any of the instruments whether it is in equity, futures and options, derivatives or in BSE or in MCX. So historical data API is very important if you are working on the technical indicators, if you are designing your own technical indicators or if you are working on the price action model. So in that case historical data API will help you to design your algorithm based on the concepts which needs historical data. Now again historical data API is completely free from the fire side. The next comes the real time data API. So real time data API is basically works on the web sockets. So if you are aware of web socket programming you can take leverage of real time data APIs or basically I would say it is a real time data updates or the real time feed from the broker from the fires. So friends now how you can get an access to the API the first and foremost step is to open an account in fires. If you don't have an account in fires yet you can refer to this particular video's description and click on the link provided in the description to open a free trading account in fires after you open the trading account in fires you need to log in with your credentials and you will get something like this in your web trading platform so after you're logged in with your credentials you need to you need to click on this nine square nine dot square box which is again a menu on the very top right hand side when you click on this nine dotted icon you will get different types of applications supported by fires on the left hand side you need to go to the developers sub menu and within the developers sub menu you will find something called as fires api you need to click on the fires api and here you will get the api dashboard of the fires now once you reach here you need to click on get started and get started it will ask you to create your own application so friends i have already created multiple apis for my different purposes for my different programming practices but if you are very new, you, you won't find any of the APIs here. In that case, you will have to click on the create API and you will have to create your own API. Now let's look at the form. What, what all important details does this form needs? The first thing is if you have any kind of image that you want to get associated, that you want to associate with this particular algo or API, you can upload that particular image here. In the app name, you can write the name, your favorite name of the API or the application for which you need this API redirect url if you are having your own server or if you're using any third party application you will need to provide a redirect url where your login credentials after login credentials are successfully authenticated the tokens will be forwarded to this particular url so if you have your own server and if you're doing your own programming you can provide your servers redirect url if you're using any third party API product or the algo product in that case you need to ask to that third party person to provide you a redirect URL and you will have to mention your redirect URL here. Description is something which you can mention anything as per your convenience and then if you are doing the web hooks uh, that is if you are working on the web socket programming real time updates real time notifications you can click on the web hooks and you can provide your web hook URL here but if you are working on the real time data and you need order updates live order updates every few seconds then you can click on the web hooks finally you need to click on i accept the api usage and then you need to click on create app uh, then you will get something called as api id and the secret id now these are the two important keys which you will need to design your or to work on your algorithmic programming or your programming trading or algorithmic trading also the same app id and the secret id would be required by any third party application any third party algo trading app which you are trying to use 
if you need to refer to documentation you can click on v3 documents v3 documents is the version 3 documents so fires has this latest 3 version of api so you will find third version documents here you need to click on v3 and then you will on the libraries and sdks you will find the different libraries supported by fires fires provide you with the python library node.js library web.js library c sharp library and the java library so if you are aware or conversant with any of these programming languages you can leverage the libraries provided by fires and ease your programming trading journey so i hope friends this video gives you a good insight about the api in fires so with this update i would like to say goodbye see you soon in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat